All right, hey, what's up, guys? Coach Mack, Play Fast Football. All right, today I'm going to talk a little bit about a three-by-one drive concept idea I kind of stole, borrowed from uh, a Lincoln Riley video that I saw on YouTube. I forget exactly whose site it was on, um, but I've seen it in Lincoln Riley clinics, and I've seen it in some other spots, and it's something that uh, we are borrowing, and I'm going to go through why we are borrowing it. So uh, make sure you check out some of our sponsors, Dome Hats, all right, it's headwear company that I use at the school I'm currently at and with Play Fast Football. Baker Sporting Goods, who makes uh, coaches' uh, items like this, Spirit Pack shirts, coaches' shirts. Our uniforms are distributed by Baker Sporting Goods, so make sure you check them out. Just Play Football, which is the uh, playbook software I use, play drawing tool I use. It's the best play drawing tool on the market. It's also got some neat features uh, to educate your players on your playbook and game plan, so check them out. Game Strat Sideline Replay System we use. We absolutely love it. All right, right now we'll never switch again until something happens with game strap because it's been absolutely perfect for us so check them out difference usa the ultimate striking machine we have one in our weight room that we have to reset up again because our racks currently aren't bolted into the ground but when our racks are bolted into the ground we love having them in the weight room get thousands of reps on striking without needing a partner high and tight ball security training aid that we use all right it's auditory feedback for your players they have to hold it in the proper position with the wrist and the elbow have to hold it high and tight if they don't have the proper pressure they won't hear the beep you don't hear the beep, you know that you are not holding the ball correctly. And Stand Perfect is a training aid we use to teach stances to linemen and receivers and linebackers, safeties. We get them in the ground, they go on the ground, all right, and you can put your feet exactly where you want them, set them up, so now you don't have to tell kids right foot back, heel toe instep, move it up four inches, out four inches, uh, shoulder width apart. You set them up where you want them, put the kids' feet in them and go, hey, that's what the stance feels like. So use Stand Perfect to build repeatable, consistent stances. So. Um, for us coming back this year, we've got uh, we've got an X receiver that we really like. All right, started for us as a sophomore last year, had 21 catches for us, two or three touchdowns. Uh, he's done a great job in the off season. Uh, he's about six foot, 195 pounds right now. He's a four, five, five, 40 kid. We really like him. We like a lot of the things he does, and we needed to find more ways to get him the ball. So in our three by one concepts, um, we didn't really have enough things built into our offense that allowed us to call a three by one concept where the X was the primary target. So we needed to start looking at the world of either vertical choice or X choice routes or routes to the X that, that we can take advantage of because we feel like it's one of our best players on the field and it's a good matchup. So what we're really trying to do is live in that three by one world and we play with Y off, so it's 11 personnel three by one. And we're, and we're kind of living in that world where we want to force teams to have to use the safety to the side of the X. All right, so we want to make teams be forced to use the backside safety to the side of the X to give them two for one or three for two on that side. Anytime they give us the X by himself, we want to take advantage of it. So one of the first things I came across was the three by one drive concept that Lincoln Riley teaches and uses in Oklahoma. And here's the real reasons I love it. Number one, I'm getting my X vertical. It is not a vertical choice route, all right? It is a mandatory vertical route. It doesn't have to be mandatory outside release. So he's not mandatory outside releasing. He can win wherever he wants to win, but it is mandatory vertical because we have other routes coming so that we can't hook him up or, or you know, come back, curl, or anything like that, or dig inside. He can't run any stems off the vertical, so it is mandatory vertical. And the bottom line for the quarterback is real simple. If they give us the X one-on-one -on -one and we can win vertical, we're taking that shot every chance we get. So we'll never even progress to the drive concept if they give us one-on-one -on -one to the X and we think we can win. All right, but the next thing that I like about it is it allows our quarterback to keep the same progression for his eyes and his feet over and over again. So it's gonna go, all right, X vertical, number one, can we win? If we can, we're taking it. If we can't win X vertical, can we get the back in the flat? Is it man-to-man? -man? Can we get the back on the wheel? You know, what are they doing in coverage that we can get the back out? If we can't win to the back, then we're going to shallow. If we can't win shallow, we're going to drive. If we can't win drive and we still have time, we're going back to curl. So what are, it, it, it's kind of a combination of some theories where we've got, it's not an X choice theory. So it's not a one-on-one -on -one, uh, vertical choice option. It's, it's X vertical. But what it does for us is it gives us a chance to get our X solo, make it real simple on the quarterback and say, listen, are they playing the X man to man? All right, if they're playing the X man to man, we're gonna try and win vertical to the X. 
All right. If if they are playing two for one on top of the X, then we're gonna then we're gonna progress and we're gonna go from the back to the shallow to the drive. All right, or the dig. Sorry, to the curl run. Why are we gonna do that? So that our quarterback's eyes can continue to move and he doesn't have to jump around. So as his feet move, he can go vert to tail to shallow. All right, to dig to backside curl. So his eyes, as it, every time his feet move, so he goes. He punched for us, and he gets to that third step. If he hasn't thrown the vertical to the X, he's going to look to the T. If he hasn't thrown to the T, he's going to look shallow. No shallow dig, no dig curl. So every time he feet or he hitches up in the pocket, his eyes should progress, and the progression stays the same. So if we don't get the one-on-one -on -one to the X and we don't get the back, then it just becomes high-low in your normal drive dig, all right, your, or your drive concept, however you want to look at it, shallow dig concept, shallow hunt, whatever you want to call it. It just goes high-low. And then it goes backside to curl. All right, so it's a very simple philosophy. It's one that gives us the chance to win with the X vertical if they give us one-on-one. -on -one. It's a very simple deal for the quarterback. What are they doing on the backside? Is it one-on-one? -on -one? If it's one-on-one, -on -one, let's win there. If it's not, let's progress back to the other side. His eyes and his reads will stay the same all the time. They will go X, tail, shallow, dig, curl. So it's very simple to teach. So we absolutely love it. Now, we have some other deals that we're going to... Um, you know that we're going to use with the X that'll have some choice routes built in and some vertical choice routes because we've got to figure out more ways to get that kid involved in the passing game and get him the ball uh, as the single receiver. So this isn't going to be the only thing, but this is one that we just started working on, all right, to develop because we feel like it's an easy way to get the X the ball. It's an easy theory for the quarterback. Is he soloed up? Yes or no? Are they borrowing the backside safety to play the trip side? If they are, we're going here. If they're not. Then we're going to come back and, and live with all of our deals to the trip side. All right, it's half slide protection for us. So the side that we start with the X and the tail, the quarterback, that's probably the man side for us. So we'll be big on big on that side. Any blitzes, quarterback's going to have to replace the blitz with either the tailback swing or possibly the shallow coming back, depending on splits. All right, uh, the zone side will be created to his back side. So we'll create the zone side back there. All right, so really in this instance, all we're really looking for is this the will coming? If the weak safety is high, we're not worried about the weak safety. Is the will coming? Can they get four off the backside? Those are really the only things that we're thinking about or looking at in protection. All right, but the other reason I like it is it, it stays kind of consistent with how we try to teach our quarterback to read stuff. So, like for us, when we run mesh, all right, and we're not a huge mesh team, we don't live and die by the mesh, all right, but you know, we, we will run it as a man beater. So for us, when we run mesh, we run play side number one, all right, on eight to 10 yards speed up. All right, the H for us always sets the high part of the mesh. The backside single is the low part of the mesh. All right, we push the back play side towards the outcut. We run the Y on big spot. All right, so that's our version of the mesh, the, the mesh play. I, I know it's not, I don't know if it's Chip Kelly's version. I don't know if it's Air Raid version. I really don't care whose version it is. This is our version of the mesh play, and the reason is I tell the quarterback that we're going speed out one, tailback two, low mesh three, big spot four, high mesh five. So now in our progression with our quarterback, it's the same deal for him. His eyes go one, two, three, four, five. They never jump all over the place. So his eyes go speed out, running back, low mesh, big spot, high mesh. His eyes don't have to go from here to the mesh read the mesh or you know speed out then read the mesh but you got the back in the flat his eyes go speed out back so in, in other words the speed out back part your eyes are in the same spot do you like the speed out corners off there's no flat player take it okay you go to throw the speed out but there's a flat player under the speed out maybe we can get the ball to the back so if you don't like the speed out or the back now you go to the low cross coming the low mesh coming now you go to the big spot now you go back all right to the high mesh so for us the progression Keeps it simple, so he goes speed out, back, all right, low mesh, big spot, high mesh. So I like trying to build things in, whether I have to adjust them or adapt them, I like to build things into my concepts that keep things as similar for I can, as I can for my quarterback. So his reads stay as similar as they possibly can. His eyes can progress the same way. They can always stay front side and going back across. They don't jump around. Again. Other people may not do it that way, that's fine. Other people may read it different, that's fine. Other teams that are, you know, if you're uh, an R4 team or whatever your reads are, you're, you're coaching your offense, you're running your offense, you do what you're comfortable with, 
how you're comfortable doing it. These are just things that we try to do. So that's what we try to do with the three by one drive. And then when we go back to mesh and some of our other progressions, we try to keep it the same so the quarterback's eyes just travel concept side over and they don't have to jump all over the place. All right, so hopefully that helps you out. You've probably seen that three by one deal before. That's a Lincoln Riley deal. It's all over YouTube. So it's not something I created. It's something that when I watch Lincoln Riley's, uh, one of his clinics that were online or on YouTube somewhere, uh, I saw the concept. I love it because of who our ex is. I love it because it keeps it simple for our guys, so it just fits us perfectly. So I appreciate everything you guys do for Play Fast Football. Make sure you turn uh, uh, subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Turn your notifications on so you know every time I do a video and every time I go on YouTube Live. Thumbs up, thumbs down if you like this or don't like it. It helps me with the content. Always leave a message if you, or a comment if you can. If it gets through to me and it's about football, I'm glad to respond to any comment. I don't care if it's positive or negative. If you've watched the video and there's something you like or don't like, go ahead and speak your mind. That's why we're here. That's what social media is. I've had a lot of negative comments that have actually helped me, that I've actually agreed with some of the points that they bring up, you know, that, that I look at and go, you know what, that makes sense. Maybe I will wrinkle that. So I appreciate everything you guys do for Play Fast Football, everything you do for me. Hopefully you're enjoying your summer. If you're into summer workouts, hopefully they're going well. Hopefully everybody's healthy. If you're on vacation with your family, uh, then and hopefully um, you are enjoying yourself and recharging your batteries. I'll be in New York for the next four days playing in a golf member guest with my buddy, so I'm going to get three or four days to recharge my batteries. So if you're on Long Island or up in, in, in New York in that area, I'll be up there in the next three, three or four days. Maybe we'll hook up, look me up. We can uh, Maybe we can get together one of those days, all right? So, uh, again, I appreciate everything you do for Play Fast. Remember, you won't play well until you play fast, and I'll see you guys next time.